Welcome back to the Almighty's channel. In this week's episode, we're going to be talking about one of the pieces of equipment out in the shop. More specifically, the manual screen printing press. Stick around, that's coming up next. Uh oh folks, look like we're having a little bit of mechanical failure out in the shop. Let me take you out there and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So this press that we're going to be looking at is a BWM Hopkins. Hopkins International six color six station press. Problem is, a lot of screen printers have a tendency when they're locking their screen down in their screen clamp. Screen printers are notorious for wrenching these things down and over time they end up stripping the threads on these stems. Stripping. Bow, -ka -bow, bow So what are we going to do about it? Well, let me tell you about some options. So here are a couple of things that you can do to remedy this. One of the things is, is don't wrench them down or, or tighten them so tight that you strip out the threads. It's, we all have a tendency to do it. I've done it, so I'm guilty. But one of the things, just don't tighten them down. I think we think there's going to take more pressure, more torque to tighten these down than really are required to hold the screen in, in place. Now, if that does happen, they do get stripped, what can you do? Well, most screen printing manufacturing or press manufacturing companies and even some supply houses will have some of these spare parts. I'm going to buy mine directly from BWM Hopkins, and I have replaced a handful of these lately. Uh, but what ends up happening is that even after you replace the stem, there's an insert inside, at least on this press, that ends up getting stripped out. And that's one of the other issues that we're having with this press. So as you can see here, here is the press. That's a press with the screen clamp removed. There's the clamp. I've removed it. Now if you look right here, BWM has inserted, pressed in these screen clamps, these little threaded inserts. So you send them the clamp and they press the old ones out, the, the stripped ones, and then they replace them with new ones. So one of the other things you can do is you literally can just buy one of these screen clamps. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to buy one brand new screen clamp and I'm going to send two of them that are stripped out back to them. And then they're going to send me three back. They'll send me two that have been, with the inserts have been replaced and then a brand new screen clamp with the inserts included. And so then I'll have an extra screen clamp so that if this happens again, I at least have a backup. What makes this different? This is an extruded aluminum and then it's milled after the fact. So it's, an ex it's extruded first and then it's milled and tapped and dyed. Well, there are some tap and dye. Those two holes are tap and dyed and everything else is milled. And then they just have these inserts, which is a good idea because I'm going to show you in my national press how the old style Here's my national. See, this is cast aluminum, and it's been tap and dyed through this thick part of the clamp. It's not an insert, so if you strip that out, it might take some doing to get that fixed. It can be fixed, but I guarantee you, it ain't going to be cheap. And these look more closely like the old Hopkins screen clamps. I believe those were cast aluminum as well. I hope you found today's video helpful. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll be alerted whenever we upload new content. Thanks for watching, and as always, we'll see you next time.